Hi guys, this is uh, Kevin Ebsworth back again from FME Global Dynamics. Now, today's subject is going to be talking about trading time for money. And as you can see, there's a few subjects I want to go through here. So how many of you out there are still trading time for money? Uh, I'm a little bit guilty of that as well. Uh, I do still do a little bit of, you know, outside work as well as uh, that's running my own business outside, that is, uh, while doing my internet business as well. Now, obviously, you know, I don't have all my eggs in one basket, but it's always good to just, you know, try not to trade too much of your time for money. Now, what do I mean by trading time for money? Loads of you out there have got a job. Now, job, um, I always say, stands for just over broke. Okay, so that's what job stands for. Now, this is a prime example for trading time for money. So what you do is you have a boss out there and you work for this particular boss. And what happens is that when you go and you work all day, you're giving your time up. So say for instance, you work about nine, 10 hours a day. That's nine, 10 hours out of your life that you, know, you can't get back. So that is you know, trading your time for money. Now, you can't help it because you need a job, so keep your job until you manage to replace your income with the online business. The self-employed is basically the same as above, but the only difference is you're on your own boss. Now, when you're self-employed, if you do not have any staff underneath you, when you close your business, your business is shut while you're on holiday and it doesn't make any money. The main problem with this is, um, you've got to work twice as hard before you go just to make sure that you have that money in your account for that week or two weeks that you have off. Now you can't go away for about a month at a time. You have to literally go away for about a few days to a week. Otherwise you'll end up having a big hit to your business. And this is like not the ideal thing to do unless you have staff that you can trust to leave your shop or you know, whatever you have in, in their hands for that week. The last option is affiliate entrepreneur. Now, being an affiliate, you don't have to have a website, so you have no website to build. Uh, so all that work is done for you, okay? So you're not trading your time for money here, uh, building your own website and all this. It's all done for you, except for driving leads to the sales page. Now, driving the leads is what you're gonna give your time to do but by driving leads you know customers to the website the website already is designed to sell uh, it pulls on the emotion strings and um, it connects with people and when you have a website that connects with people what normally happens is they intend to buy the product and then they get put into a sales funnel and the sales funnel goes down so you'll I'll just rub this off for a second so the sales funnel runs a bit like this. Okay, so the customers come to the front end of the product. So you get all these customers coming here and they're buying the front end product, say for about $47. Then they go down the funnel and then they start purchasing other products as well, which all is related to this product here. So say for instance, this one's $197. And then this one goes to uh, one, one, or one, nine, nine, seven dollars. And then this one here is uh, four, nine, nine, seven. Then this one here, we'll make this the last one, yeah? So this one here is about nine, 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 seven. Okay, so the customers come down the funnel and say for instance, you have a hundred customers uh, on the top end and then they'll buy, some of them will buy, you'll end up with, say for instance, say a minimum of 20%, so you get 20 people and then you get another 20% of uh, this. So you'll end up with, um, well, say, say more than 20%. So say for instance, you get 50% of 20 people, so you get 10 people, and then you get another 50% that goes on here, 
so you get five and then you may get one so when you go down this funnel here you end up making um, you're talking about like 50k maybe maybe less than 50k about 25k but you can see what I'm saying you trade in time for money you put people into the sales funnel and then you start making commissions on that the minimum of 30% right up to 90% uh, some places the majority of them are like 50% so you know trading your time for money which business you're gonna go for I would go for like affiliate marketing because everything's all done for you basically all you got to do is just drive the traffic down to the website and then the sales funnel you know kicks in and you get percentages of each time so you may get a hundred percent off the front end product then it goes down to 50% from the OTO 1, OTO 2, OTO 3. OTO stands for one-time offers. So that's it for me today then, guys. And I hope that you've learned a lot just by watching this little uh, illustration that I've done on the whiteboard behind me. And uh, don't trade your time for money. You know, work as an affiliate and, you know, get money as a commission and just sell other people's products as well. And then eventually when you start making your you know big commissions you can create your very own product on how you made that much money okay so that's it from me today um thanks for watching